Even though we may not feel we put enough time on our machines throughout the season, we do put on our fair share of ride time. Now, while we're out there, we're always constantly thinking about the real world sled of the year. Now, this is an award we give out at the end of the season, and the reason why we do it at the end of the season is because we believe it takes a full year to fully understand and evaluate these machines in the reality of the real world. We feel this gives us the best understanding of the qualities of each machine and also gives us the best chance to tune the machines into their best possible state. This includes suspension setups, clutching tweaks, and also the addition of traction products. Now, before you get upset and send in a nasty email about evaluating a modified snowmobile, we believe that the addition of studs and runners really add to the safety factor of machines, especially when you're on icy trails. Now, we also believe that the addition of studs and runners can improve the consistency of the performance of the machines on all types of varied trail conditions, especially for the way that we ride. One thing to remember, it's important whenever studs are added to the track, the aggressiveness of the ski carbide runners should also be increased. Now, even if you don't run studs in the track, your sled may still benefit from a slightly more aggressive or even a different shaped runner. For those of you just getting into snowmobiling, the carbide is an actual piece of super hard material that's been embedded into the steel runner that gets bolted to the bottom of your ski. Now this determines pretty much how aggressive the ski is and how much bite there is when you come onto icy surfaces. Now the stock carbides, they're okay, but we're going to upgrade to a set of 6 inch Woody's Trailblazers to better balance out the studs that we've already got installed on the track of this Rev. Determining how aggressive you should go is really up to how and where you ride. If you're in the powder all day long, more carbide isn't going to do you much good. But if you ride on hard, icy trails, carbide is your friend. For the way that I ride, I usually find a 6-inch carbide will do. Now, the more aggressive you get, the more the ski will dig in. And this translates into a heavier steering feel or possibly a little bit of nervousness or twitchiness in the corners, both of which can be fatiguing on a long day's ride. There's also the choice of twin bar type runners like these Woody's Dooley's. These can be a real benefit on sleds that have a tendency to dart around. The twin design on the runners cut new grooves into the trail instead of darting around ones left by the guy in front of you. Basically, it's a personal choice as to the type and size of runner that works for you and your sled. If you're still not sure, ask a tech support line or somebody else riding a sled just like yours. I guarantee they'll have something to say on the matter. Whatever way you go, remember these things wear out, so check them often, especially when you're in less than ideal snow conditions. Plus, if you're wearing them off, it means you've been out riding, which is what I'm going to do right now.